the location of the Ebensee subcamp of Mauthausen, which started in November 1943. And this is the museum today. And before doing anything else, I want to show the surroundings. It's absolutely really beautiful area. In the past, I've said things about some of the places where camps, such as Sobibor, Treblinka, for example, really attractive areas. And the suffering is forgotten amongst an area like this, but as soon as we walk into the cave, I'm sure it will become apparent. I have never been here before. Although I did write something on it. Coincidentally, I'm here today on the Day of Liberation, so it's the 72nd anniversary of liberation. I didn't do that deliberately. I was traveling between Bad Ischl and Gmunden, and as I was going past, I thought, oh, I'll go to Ebensee. So that's the reason why, but we could see from the ceremony, you know, people coming from various countries, Poland, Italy, Spain, Czech Republic, former Yugoslavia, former Soviet Union, representing victims of many nationalities.